we are learning all the time, and there will never be a limit to how much we know. For example, right now, you're about to learn a whole bunch of new stuff. Some you might even be brainy enough to already know. From spaghetti being served at McDonald's to the Eiffel Tower destined for Barcelona, here are 20 curious things you didn't know five minutes ago. Number 20. Cats' tongues are covered in spines. If you've ever been licked by a cat, you'll know how awful their tongues feel on your skin. They're rough and raspy like sandpaper, and under a microscope, their tongues look downright terrifying. Cats have tiny spines on their tongues called papillae that are about 2 millimeters long with U-shaped cavities. The hardness of these papillae is very similar to human fingernails. Using high-speed videography, scientists were actually able to work out what happens when a cat grooms, and it looks quite gross. The spines on the ends of their tongues are all that come into contact with the fur. They tend to be larger than the smaller spines near the bottom of the tongue. When cats start the grooming process, they extend their tongues out and the muscles on them expand. The spines then rotate and become perpendicular to their tongues. Finally, they sweep their tongues through their fur, which is taken into their mouths with U-shaped curls. I can think of nothing worse than having to lick fur off a cat's body, but they're obviously used to it. Cats will spend about a quarter of the time they're awake grooming, which is about 2.4 hours a day. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. There are many causes for swollen bellies in cats and kittens. Cats, and especially kittens, can sometimes have very round-looking tummies. Sometimes their rotundness is in proportion to their size, but other times it's not. Did you know that not all round, swollen tummies on cats and kittens are normal? Some can point to a health condition, or one of many health conditions. Open enlargement is one of the most commonly looked at causes of swollen bellies. The kidneys, spleen, liver, bladder, uterus, and gastrointestinal tract can all be looked at, caused by a variety of things like inflammation, masses, and blockages. However, fluid in the abdomen can also be to blame. Typically, fluid in the stomach is actually a symptom of something else, like heart failure, cancer, low protein, hemorrhage, a disease, inflammation, or even a rupture of a hollow organ. If you've ever rescued a pot-bellied kitten, then you'll also know that intestinal parasites are one of the leading causes of a swollen belly. A simple look at their feces can confirm this or rule it out. If that's ruled out, your vet may then start looking at things like abdominal masses, which are more common in cats than kittens, and some of those other possibilities mentioned earlier. Number 18. Husseini Suspension Bridge is one of the most dangerous bridges in the world. The Husseini Suspension Bridge in Hunza District's Gokal Valley in the village of Hunza is easily one of the most dangerous bridges in the world, and it won't take you long to see why. There's a gap of at least a foot between each of the steps, and there are little to no safety measures in place. If you fall, there is no one there to help you. You'd probably fall into the river and it would be game over, Rover. So why does such a bridge exist? Villagers were tired of having to climb a dangerous hill and travel about 20 kilometers or 12 miles to get to the next village. So in 1968, they asked their ruler to build a suspension bridge. The request was approved and construction got underway. Well, transport got underway, I mean. This bridge was actually built during British rule in Shishkot village in Gojal. When the Karakoram Highway was built, the bridge was moved to Husseini village to link to the village of Zarabad. Today, it's both a thoroughfare for villagers and an attraction for tourists. It's 660 feet long, 50 to 100 feet above the riverbed, and consists of 472 wooden planks. Imagine hauling your groceries across that. Number 17. Roller Coasters as Sin Distractions 
The next time you go on a roller coaster, you can thank hosiery businessman Lamarcus Thompson for being against sin. As strange as that might sound, this one man was responsible for some of the most popular family attractions throughout the world. Lamarcus didn't like that Americans were tempted by sinful places like saloons and brothels. He believed Coney Island in New York was the perfect place to give Americans some clean fun. So he built the first roller coaster in America. And, well, the rest is history. There are now over 2,400 roller coasters in the world, and they are among the safest forms of recreation. Marcus is probably thrilled at that. Each year in North America, upwards of 370 million people go on 1.7 billion rides, which undoubtedly keeps them out of those saloons and brothels. There are two common roller coaster types, wooden and steel. However, there are certainly more than two roller coaster styles. You can go for rides on spinning roller coasters, hyper coasters, inverted roller coasters, and more. Some are also scarier than others, with the most dangerous in the world being considered the King Ka roller coaster at Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey. Number 16. An 11-year-old accidentally invented ice pops. There are very few things as refreshing on a warm summer's day as a delicious popsicle. The frostiness, stickiness, and freshness cool you down and definitely puts a smile on your face. And you have an 11-year-old boy called Frank Epperson to thank for that. In 1905, Frank accidentally left soda powder and water outside overnight with the wooden stirrer to mix the ingredients still in the cup. It was a very cold evening, which caused the ingredients to freeze in place. When Frank saw it, he called it the Epsicle, and he started selling the treat in his neighborhood. Although, he didn't do a lot with his invention for several years. It wasn't until 1923, over 18 years later, that he decided to apply for a patent called Frozen Ice on a Stick. Epsicle eventually became Popsicle, because that's what Frank's own children ended up calling their Pops creation. Frank sold his rights to the Popsicle in New York to the Joe Lowe Company, and they started being made with birch wood sticks for about a nickel. Frank went on to have a long life involved in frozen treat creation. He was thought to have inspired several others like Dreamsicle, Fudgesicle, and Creamsicle. Number 15. McDonald's Serves Spaghetti in the Philippines the fast food restaurant chain McDonald's is known for many things, like the Big Mac, French fries, nuggets, and quarter pounder burgers. But one thing they serve that's not well known is spaghetti. That's right, spaghetti. Known as, you guessed it, Mick Spaghetti, it's a delicious pasta dish with tomato sauce, shredded cheese, and sausage pieces or ground beef on the top. Sometimes you can order it with a fried chicken leg. It was served in a cardboard box similar to those your burger comes in, with a layer of spaghetti on the bottom, a generous helping of tomato sauce on top, some grated cheese, and a few meatballs or sausage pieces. But before you make your way to your nearest McDonald's restaurant, it's worth knowing that this unique meal offering is only available in the Philippines and one place in America. Although, we'll just point out it used to be available in many more places. It was introduced in the 1970s all around the world, but was discontinued in 1980 when it ended up being a big flop. After that time, it could only be found in Orlando, Florida, and the Philippines. In Orlando, it features alongside other McPasta dishes like Fettuccine Alfredo and lasagna. Number 14. World's Smallest McDonald's Was Designed for Bees McDonald's is probably well aware of its environmental impact. You don't have to look too far to see discarded burger boxes on the sides of roads or soda straws on beaches. They're definitely making improvements with better packaging options, but they also did something quite unique. They made a miniature McDonald's for bees. And no, it wasn't just a tiny restaurant where bees could order Big Macs. It looked like a McDonald's restaurant on the outside with rows of honeycombs on the inside for the bees. It's known as the McHive, and it's now the world's smallest restaurant. 
It was McDonald's in Sweden that kicked the whole thing off. They wanted to reduce their environmental impact, so they started installing beehives on their restaurant rooftops. It was a local initiative, but it began to grow. Now, franchisees around the world are making bee-friendly decisions, such as replacing grasses around their restaurants with flowers and plants that wild bees love. It's a good start, but there's still a way to go. Of the 37,000 restaurants worldwide, just 10% recycle their trash. About 60 million customers are served daily, and nearly all transactions involve the sale of food in single-use packaging. Number 13. Cows Can't Bite People Cows kill around 22 people each year, whereas sharks kill around 5. It's obvious who the more dangerous creature is here. Cows can generally kill people by crushing them, kicking them, and standing on them. But there's one thing they can't do to kill or hurt you, and that's bite. That's because they don't have any upper teeth. To eat grass, they just press their bottom teeth against the hard palate at the top of their mouth. Their sharp bottom teeth perform the cut which allows them to chew the grass. They do have 32 teeth, but none of them are well placed to maim us, so that's good news. They have six incisors as biting teeth and two canines positioned at the bottom front of their jaws. Their incisor teeth help farmers estimate a cow's age. They look at the wear, appearance, type of teeth, and the number to gain insight into whether they're a young or old cow. Well, it's not like you can ask them how many birthdays they've had. Another interesting point is just how much a cow will chew its food. They chew it, swallow it, and regurgitate it at least 50 times to digest the plant fibers and get as many nutrients as possible. Number 12. Sea Cucumbers Fight With Their Guts most animals have some form of defense mechanism to help them survive. After all, if they didn't have something to keep them alive, they would be quickly made extinct. Some animals have spikes, poison, and shells, while others have sharp teeth, speed, or strength. But the sea cucumber? Well, it just has its internal organs. When it's feeling under threat, it can contract its muscles and spit its internal organs out its anus. So apparently, mutilating your own body is how you get other animals to leave you alone. You might think that the sea cucumber would die after doing something so dramatic and drastic, but it doesn't. Instead, it manages to regenerate whatever it loses. Researchers spent a lot of time working this one out, and their crazy talents may become quite helpful for our future with regenerative medicine. If we can work out just how they manage to regenerate their most vital organs, we may be able to figure out how we can regrow lost limbs and heal severe injuries. And here's me thinking the sea cucumber was one of the most unimpressive sea creatures in existence. Number 11. China has the world's tallest swing. Remember when you were a child and swinging high on the swing set in your local park felt like you were taller than everybody else? Well, you might be feeling pretty silly when you find out just how big the tallest swing in the world is. The world's tallest swing is located in China at the Yunyang Longgang Scenic Spot. It sits on a 2,296-foot cliff in Chongqing and stands at just under 355 feet tall. When you swing on it, it can fling you over the edge of the cliff at speeds of up to 80 miles an hour. I bet your local park swing can do that. It is now recognized as the tallest swing frame in the world according to the Guinness World Records and has a 328-foot archway. Fortunately, unlike the swings in your local park, you are strapped in. You get strapped up in a safety harness before you swing over the edge of the cliff, reaching heights of about 262 feet. According to engineers, it can withstand wind speeds of up to 102 miles an hour and even survive an earthquake. Although we'd hate to be on the swing during a quake. Before China opened the swing to the public in 2020, the Big Rush Swing in South Africa held the title of the world's tallest swing. Number 10. There are strict storage rules for tennis balls during Wimbledon. 
When you head to your local tennis court for a game of tennis with your friends, you probably just use a tennis ball you've had stuffed into the pocket of your gym bag. For a friendly game among friends, that's more than suitable. But for Wimbledon, not so much. Each year, over 54,000 tennis balls are carefully prepared for inside and outside courts. And by prepared, we really do mean prepared. They are organized into cans and put into a carefully controlled climate of 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Why 68 degrees Fahrenheit? Well, because at that temperature, the balls bounce the best. Surprisingly, the temperature of each tennis ball can affect how well it performs. All tennis balls have a rubber-coated hollow core with gas in the middle. When the temperature of the ball is changed, the pressure of the gas also changes. So, it goes without saying that a cold ball will perform much differently from a hot one. The warmer the ball, the more the gas molecules inside it expand, which creates a higher bounce. Researchers have determined that the sweet spot is 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and I bet the players notice the difference as well. Number 9. Coins with alien faces found in Egypt. A lot of really cool stuff has been found in Egypt, like lost ancient cities and mummies. But perhaps one of the coolest things ever found was a set of ancient Egyptian coins that may prove an alien race paid us a visit thousands of years ago. Well, at least that's what conspiracy theorists say. Why? Because the coins have alien faces on them. One coin was found during a house renovation that seemed to have what looked like a spaceship hovering above the ground. Another had what appeared to be an extraterrestrial creature with a bald head, massive hollow eyes, and thin cheeks. The coins are definitely unique because I don't think we've ever discovered any other coins like them. On one of them, the words Opportunis Adest were carved on the back, although this has yet to be verified. Opportunis Adest is Latin for it's here in due time. Space lovers and ufologists are frothing at the mouth with this new information, believing that an alien race may return sometime in the future if they've been here before. Some conspiracy theorists even believe a gigantic alien city was hidden under the Gulf of California. No experts have actually verified any of these coins or claims, so we'll probably never know the truth. Can someone call Scully and Mulder? Number 8. The Eiffel Tower was intended for Barcelona. You'd probably call me a liar if I told you the Eiffel Tower was initially destined for Barcelona, but it's actually the truth. But let me share with you how this whole thing played out. The Eiffel Tower was built for the 1889 World Fair that took place in Paris. It was supposed to be a temporary exhibit that would eventually be taken down. Engineer Gustave Eiffel and his two engineers, Maurice Coichlan and Emile Nugier, had actually pitched the Eiffel Tower design to Spain first, which was holding a World Fair in Barcelona the year before in 1888 called the Universal Exposition of Barcelona. Local authorities apparently turned it down because they thought it would be unpopular with locals and unsightly in the landscape. They're probably kicking themselves now. It is one of the most visited paid monuments in the world and is valued at about $400 billion. In 2015 alone, almost 7 million people paid a visit to it. So much for a temporary exhibit. There's no way it would ever be dismantled now. Fortunately for Barcelona, they aren't short of famous monuments. The church, called Sagrada Familia, has about 3 million visitors each year. Number 7. Portugal has the longest pedestrian bridge in Europe. The year 2021 wasn't shaping up to be the best for many countries, especially after quite a tumultuous 2020. But if there was one good thing to happen, it was the creation of Europe's longest pedestrian bridge. The new pedestrian suspension bridge was called 516 Aruca and opened in northern Portugal's Aruca Geopark. The Institute for Research and Technological Development for Construction, Energy, Environment, and Sustainability built it to attract tourists to the area. 
The mayor of Aruka has since described it as a modern and iconic landmark, and it really is. It's 1,692 feet long and is suspended 574 feet above the Paivo River. It also links granite cliff faces and two hills. It is truly remarkable. When you're on the bridge, you get to enjoy views of the Pavia Gorge to the Aguirius Waterfall. You can also see the bridge as you venture onto the almost five-mile trail running through the Aruka Hills. After its completion, it surpassed the previous record holder, the Charles Cunen Bridge in Switzerland, which measures 1,620 feet long. Alongside being Europe's longest pedestrian bridge, it might also be the longest in the world based on complexity next to the Baglong Parbat footbridge in Nepal at 1,860 feet long. Number 6. There's just one Shell gas station shaped like a shell. Shell gas stations are known by their big shell sign, either perched on a pole or present on the shop frontage. But there's also a single gas station shaped like a shell, and it's located in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. The oil company's owners wanted to attract customers to shell-shaped service stations, so they built about eight of them in the Winston-Salem area. However, that was all the way back in 1930, and there's only one in existence today. Preservation North Carolina, which preserves historic sites, spent about $50,000 over a year-long period restoring the landmark shell station to its original condition. They removed layer upon layer of faded yellow paint and revealed the original yellow-orange color underneath. They also repaired the front door and fixed a crack that had previously been sealed with black tar. Even the shelter adjacent to the shell made of trellised wood that housed the car wash and car servicing area was reconstructed to look good as new. Completing the look were restored gas pumps and replica lamp posts donated by Quality Oil Company. Now, the Shell gas station is a museum piece for Preservation North Carolina. Number 5. The Leaning Tower of Pisa wasn't supposed to lean. Every time you see video footage or photos of the Leaning Tower of Pisa, you almost always see people trying to create tricky pictures of them trying to push the tower back up or leaning against it. Some even hold ice cream cones to make it look like the tower's on the cone. It's definitely well known for being, well, uneven, but it was never supposed to be that way. Its almost four degree lean is due to an unstable foundation. When it was under construction during the 12th century, the soft ground was not able to support its weight properly. By the time it reached its completion during the 14th century, that problem was even worse. By 1990, the tilt was at 5.5 degrees, and remedial work had to be undertaken between 1993 and 2001 to reduce the tilt to 3.97 degrees. The tower was built in three stages over almost 200 years, and it began sinking after the construction of the second floor in 1178. The three-meter foundation in weak, unstable subsoil was seen as entirely flawed from day one. As a result, no further construction efforts were underway for almost a century, and the soil was left to settle. Construction continued from around 1233. Number 4. Stairway to Heaven in Austria are you afraid of heights? Well, it's time to go do something else. What you're about to learn about the Stairway to Heaven in Austria will probably make you want to vomit. The Stairway to Heaven is a 140-foot sky ladder that hangs over a 2,296-foot gorge in a mountain range in Austria. This steel cable creation is a popular tourist attraction on a climbing tour in the South Kammergut Resort area of Austria, but it is certainly not for everyone. As far as mountaineering difficulty levels go, this is definitely right up there. Out of A, B, C, and D, it's rated as a C. I think perhaps one of the scariest parts about this climbing tour is the fact that you can see how high up you are. You have to take one step after another, knowing that you're just one step away from death. Although, that's pretty dramatic, as you actually do have safety gear. According to most people on this tour, the stairway to heaven is probably the easiest part of the entire trip. Then, once you get to the other side, it's just beautiful scenery as far as the eye can see. Number 3. 
squirrels cause the most power outages in the U.S. Many things cause power outages, and you'd assume that the worst offender is storms. And you'd actually be right, storms do cause the most power outages. But do you know what comes in second place? Squirrels. Who would have thought that squirrels hold all the power? Literally. According to Electric Power Research Institute member John Acklin, squirrels are really hard to defeat. They can chew on wires, which is bad enough, but they also wreak havoc at substations. John said they are able to squeeze through holes the size of nickels to store their food, make a nest, and have something fun to chew. Almost half of all power outages are caused by these chaotic critters. And as it turns out, power stations aren't all they are keen on destroying. Metal sheet barriers had to be installed around a missile site in Montana because squirrels were able to tear through steel mesh fencing to set off sensors and chew cables. Even though squirrels are cute, it's clear to see they're also a massive pest. The worst part is, some insurance providers don't even cover them on home insurance policies. Number 2. Blue Whale Tongues Can Weigh As Much As Elephants if you've ever seen an elephant in person, you can't help but see them as absolutely massive, because, well, they are. African elephants are the largest land mammal on Earth and can weigh up to 14,000 pounds. At their shoulders, it's not uncommon for them to measure up to 13 feet. But then, you compare an elephant to a blue whale, and it's clear to see the elephant as competition. Just the tongue of a blue whale can weigh as much as an entire elephant. They also weigh as much as 25 adult elephants. Blue whales are the largest animals on Earth. They can grow to over 200 tons and measure as long as 100 feet. Their organs weigh more than some of the largest animals on land, and their heart is as big as a standard car. You might think their incredible size comes from a diet of sharks, sea turtles, seals, and other large animals like humans, but it's just krill. They have baleen on their upper jaws that let them take a big gulp of water to filter out the water and eat the remaining krill. In a single day, an adult blue whale can eat up to four tons of krill. As you'd imagine, a large animal must have a large appetite. Number 1. Supermarket apples can be a year old. Making sure fruit and vegetables can be harvested and sold before going off can be a complicated game to play. Just think of how quickly an avocado goes bad. One minute it's hard and green, and the next it's soft and brown. So food manufacturers have to do something about it. Well, at least concerning some produce. Did you know that apples you purchase in your local supermarket may be up to a year old? They may have been sitting in cold storage for months on end before eventually making their way into your fruit bowl. Apples naturally grow with a waxy exterior, which keeps them fresher for longer while stopping moisture loss. When the apples are washed to remove dirt and debris, some of that wax is washed away with it. So some sellers apply a synthetic wax to extend their lifespan even further. These types of wax can be shellac, carnauba, petroleum jelly, or beeswax. They are an edible coating, but some nutritionists believe the wax may not be doing your digestive system any favors and might even be harmful to your colon or small intestine. You may be able to get rid of the wax before consuming your apple by dipping it in hot water, then running it under tap water. And just when I thought I knew a lot of stuff, I get to learn some more. Some of these facts were crazy. I'm still reeling about the fact that you can buy spaghetti at McDonald's and that tennis balls need to be stored at a specific temperature. Let us know in the comments whether you knew any of this information and how much of it was brand new to you. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.